Hello guys, welcome to Library Pets. As you can see, I don't have a live pet here today. Um, so I'm gonna share with you a story um, about caring for an animal that maybe somebody desires to have as a pet. Miss Neva desires to have it as a pet for a library, because I think it would be a great addition for any library. I've actually seen some libraries that have one of these. Um, we used to have fish, and I think this one would be a really cool addition. It's just a dream that Miss Neva has that probably will not come to light, but um, it's always important to study things that you are interested in. So if you ever get the opportunity to do it, then you'll know more about it and you'll be prepared for it. So today I'm going to share with you a book called Caring for Your Turtle. I don't know, is anybody interested in owning a turtle? Do any of you own a turtle? Well, Miss Neva has never owned a turtle, so I learned a lot reading this story. And it's always good to be prepared in case the opportunity arises. So this is called Caring for Your Turtle, and it is by Colleen Sexton. Move over here so you guys can see the pictures, because I think pictures are one of the most important parts of picture books. Okay. Choosing your turtle. A turtle is a pet for a lifetime. Pet turtles can live for 50 years or more. Your turtle will depend on you to take care of it every day. Turtles come in many sizes. Their bodies and shells can have different patterns and colors. Some turtles live only on land and some live mostly in water. Not all turtles make good pets. Learn about the different kinds of turtles and their needs. That will help you choose the right turtle to bring home. See this says slider turtle, mud turtle, box turtle. Fun fact, some of the most popular pet turtles are slider turtles, mud turtles, mop turtles, I'm sorry, map turtles, and box turtles. That is a map turtle. Do not keep a wild turtle as a pet. Instead, buy a turtle from a turtle breeder. Their turtles make healthier pets. You will need lots of supplies to properly care for your turtle. Your turtle will need a large tank or cage to live in. Make sure the tank or cage is covered so your turtle can't escape. A large cage gives land turtles room to explore, climb, and dig. Place a shallow bowl of water in the cage for drinking and bathing. Be sure to change the water every day. Cover the bottom of your land turtle's cage with newspapers, sand, soil, or other bedding. Scoop out your turtle's waste every day and change the bedding at least once a week. Water turtles need a tank with a swimming area and a land area. The swimming area should have plenty of room for your turtle to move around. The water in the swimming area should be as deep as your turtle is long. That will give your turtle space to flip over if it turns on its back. Being upside down is not good for turtles. Turtles need clean water in their swimming area to stay healthy. Put a filter in the tank to trap dirt and clean the water. Clean out the filter and change the water at least once a week. Turtles can carry a disease called salmonella. Always wash your hands after handling your turtle or cleaning its cage or tank. The land area in the tank can be large, can be a large rock, a wooden shelf, or another flat place. It needs to be easy for your turtle to climb out of the water and onto the land area. See, there you see the turtle climbs up there. Both land turtles and water turtles like to hide. 
You can add plants, rocks, and other objects to your turtle's home to make hiding places. Check that the plants you use are safe for your turtle. Are you hiding? Most turtles need to keep their body temperatures around 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius. Heaters can warm the air or water to help keep your turtle the right temperature. Turtle homes need warm spots and cool spots. Your turtle will want to bask in the light of the heat lamp to warm up. It will move into the water or to another spot to cool off. Fun fact, turtles are cold blooded. Their bodies are the same temperature as their surroundings. Feed your turtle every two to three days. Most turtles eat fruits and vegetables. Many turtles like fish or meat. It is important to learn which foods are best for your type of turtle. Watch your turtle closely for changes in its habits or appearances. Check regularly for cuts on your turtle's skin, cracks in its shell, or, check or changes in its color. If it stops eating, it may be sick. Take it to a veterinarian for any of these problems. Fun fact, turtles don't have teeth. They suck food in their mouths or grab it with their sharp claws. Wow, that is very interesting. Like you can kind of see that he's feeding it a tomato slice. Oh, two. There's two turtles there. Some turtles like people to pet. Some turtles like people to pet their heads. However, most turtles don't like to be touched. They think that a predator is attacking them. Some turtles will hide inside their shells. Pick your turtle up only when you need to move it. Watch your turtle instead of holding it. Seeing how your turtle eats, swims, and exploring is fun. The end in the back, you'll see there is a glossary for some of the terms going on and different, um, different sort of resources to, that you can turn to if you want to learn more about owning a turtle. Oh, also you can go to the web. That's pretty cool as well. So hope you enjoyed that. I don't know if you guys, let me know if you're interested in owning a turtle or if there's any of you out there that have a turtle. I'd be very curious to hear your experiences. All right, thanks guys for joining me for my video today. Thank you so much and have a great day.